Last Friday, I was sitting in my armchair reading and I spontaneously burst out crying. And I still don't know why, but I do realize that living on a higher plane right now is really, really hard. I get it. You know, all these rabbis are talking about getting ready, being spiritual for Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. And you're thinking like, I'm just trying to survive right now. So today I'm going to give you three tips, three easy things you can do to make sure that you're spiritually ready for Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, despite the craziness going on right now. The first thing you need to do is to accept where you are. You know, if you call a taxi company back in the day and then they would ask you, where do you want to be picked up from? Well, if you didn't know where you wanted to be picked up from or worse, you couldn't accept where you were and therefore you couldn't tell them. So they would say to you, I'm sorry, I can't pick you up from where you are. If your next step in looking after your family is to not kill your own children, then that's where you are. Accept it and we'll move from there. Hashem put you in this situation. He knows you're here. And he's all right with that right now. Part two is to ask, what have I learned? Now, it's a foundational Jewish idea that every moment of your life is meaningful. I reject the idea that there's six months of your life or 12 months or two years of your life that you're supposed to simply set aside and ignore. As if Hashem didn't really plan those, they were just a blip and you're supposed to block them from your mind. That being said, when we talk about learning new things during COVID, I'm not talking about like the guy who on the internet goes, well, I learned Spanish. And another guy goes, I taught myself classical guitar. And you're like, shut up. I'm not there right now. El is supposed to be a month of introspection. If you are healthy enough to take a moment and journal, what have I learned during COVID? You know, what have you learned about what's most important to you in life? What do you really need? What do you really want? What do you really know now that you don't want? What have you learned about your own strengths? And let's be honest about it. What have you learned about your own weaknesses? Those place in your life that you need to work on yourself. And part three is to make part of your me time spiritual time. Especially now everybody needs me time. You know, time when you focus on yourself. You gotta figure out a way to make that work. And the other thing you need to do is to not make all of your me time off time, like Facebook or Netflix or whatever your poison is. Don't just stop, change gears. And what I mean by that is we can't know any of the externals coming up in the next year, but you can ask, who do I wanna be in the next year, regardless of those externals? What do I want my relationship with Hashem to look like? Where do I wanna grow? What do I want to work on in that relationship? How are we going to get closer over the next year? With my family and friends, what do I want to grow in those relationships? How am I going to do that? Who are the people I'm going to work with this year? And what are my goals for those people? And the last piece is to ask yourself, how do I want to relate to myself this year? Those three pieces, which are the main three relationships that we have in our life with Hashem, with others and with ourselves are still in our control. And those are the things that we need to turn up with on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur in order to be able to have a successful year in the coming year. In some respects, life is completely out of control right now. But in terms of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, the year plan that we need to come up with about how we're going to grow in our three major relationships is still within our control. And that's really all Hashem expects from us right now. If you like this video, you're in luck because we've got a new one coming out every few days. You can press like at the bottom here. Please don't smash the like button like everybody tells you. We abhor violence here. If you don't like the video, we want you to get that off your chest. Please press the dislike button twice. And please comment below and subscribe to our channel so that you'll get all of our upcoming videos. Have a great day.